and good morning i think i put way too much blush on oh well i am packing up my lunch bag my uber is on its way i just made a matcha i as usual when i have a super super early show time did not sleep it doesn't matter like i people are really sweet trying to give me recommendations but it really doesn't matter because it's completely like a mental thing. It's like, I normally sleep through the night, no problem. I didn't even go to bed like crazy early last night. I went to bed around the time I've been going to bed lately and I still didn't sleep. I woke up around three, two or three and I literally just like, I couldn't fall back asleep because it's like all this pressure in my mind to fall asleep and as much as I try to like not think about it or to not put pressure on myself to fall asleep and just kind of think about nothing it doesn't work I love this job but let me tell you it makes it it, it literally makes it almost impossible if you're working a lot it's impossible to have like a normal sleep schedule if you're like part-time or work minimum hours, then you're fine. All right, my Uber should be pulling up any second. I have, look how green that is, my matcha. I have my yogurt. I brought the pumpkin spice, the Kulina, or the Coco June. I have a couple coconut waters for my athletic green packets, some matcha lemonades, the Emma Chamberlain, and Swoon collab. And then I have peaches, blueberries, nuts to mix with the this stuff and then I'm gonna eat in Savannah Evan <laughs> I'm in my hotel room if you can't tell Oh my God, I am so happy to be here. Okay, for starters, my hair is a mess. Look outside. It doesn't look like much from here, but I feel like you can see so much. Like, it always looks smaller in the camera, but I have a beautiful view. I am exhausted, but I'm powering through today. I'm not going to take a little nap like I usually try to do. I'm not doing that. I'm washing my face, redoing my makeup, and then, oh, these beds are so comfortable. And then I am going to start the day with Evan. And I am so excited to do that. It is beautiful outside. It's a little warm. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> but that's okay. A little warm. But we're going to make the best of it. And yeah. I'm just so excited. Flights were so easy today. This morning feels like it was yesterday. It feels like it was so long ago. But the flights were like cake today. And I think tomorrow it's a really light load. Because it's just such an early flight going up to... LaGuardia, but that's tomorrow. We'll do whatever. We'll deal with that later. I ate my peaches. I don't even think I filmed that or showed you guys. I think I just showed you when I put it in my lunch bag, but I ate my peaches with that pumpkin spice yogurt was to die for. It was so good with the fresh peaches and the pumpkin seeds and the blueberries. Oh my God. It was so good. I highly recommend trying out that pumpkin yogurt, but I am like too impatient and too excited to go out into Savannah. So I'm going to go ahead and change. I cannot for the life of me figure out what to wear. I have this little black ruffly dress on, but I don't think I like it. I think it looks kind of funny. <sighs> and like, I love the mirrors in here. The mirrors are really good, but it's just kind of hard to see like exactly what you look like because it's so dark. And I don't know why, but like the lights aren't coming on. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is better. This is the dress. It's very ruffly. It's kind of weird in the front. I don't know. It almost, it kind of looks like a maternity dress to me. It's very wrinkly, which bothers me too, but it works for the weather. So, so I don't know what to do. I wish I could like, I don't know what to do guys. Okay. I went with this shirt, the wrap shirt and this skirt this is what i wore to dinner in copenhagen the other night i like it i feel like this blush i don't know what's going on with it i feel like i wear it all the time but today it just looks so bright on my face whatever we're gonna go up to the rooftop and have a cocktail
Go, Evan. Security. All right, enough. It's a video. <laughs> Selfie, please. Now with you. It's 5 10 a.m. It is the next day. I'm putting my hair up. I let it air dry last night, so I'm just putting it up in like a silk scrunchie. We had so much fun yesterday, but oh my goodness, we spent so much money too. But I'm like, I'm like adding it up in my head. This morning, I'm like, holy crap, we spent so much money yesterday. Well, we just went to like four different restaurants and literally had stuff at each one, but it was fun and it was worth it, so it's fine. I feel like I need like a breakfast sandwich or something. I have yogurt and the fruit, but I feel like I need more. I may or may not get a breakfast sandwich at LaGuardia if we have a little sit, which we probably will. I'm in shock at how light our flight was. Coming back down, it's full, but going up to New York, it's only like 18 people. It's really light. I haven't seen a flight that light in so long. I feel like everything is full lately. But guys, okay, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Oh my god, don't mind my greasy bun. I'm doing like a hair mask. But anyway, I decided to throw this Whole Foods, even though I filmed it before I went to Savannah, I decided to put the Whole Foods haul at the end of the video. I just didn't want to start off the video of a Savannah vlog with like a 10 minute Whole Foods haul. So I threw it at the end. Hope you guys enjoy. And I just needed to give that disclaimer. <laughs> Guys, oh my goodness. I'm starting off a new vlog. I'm starting it off a day earlier than I originally wanted to because I just did the most epic Whole Foods haul and I am so excited for everything that I bought. And I guess I'm just gonna jump right into this haul. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna try to like show y'all mainly the fun stuff. So I saw the packaging for this cereal. It's called Lovebird Cereal. It is grain-free organic cereal. The ingredients are all right here and I double checked on the side and it's literally the same stuff. Cassava, coconut honey, coconut sugar, cinnamon, coconut oil, we love clean oils, non-inflammatory oils, and Himalayan salt, that's it. I cannot wait to try this cereal. I love cereal, it's like a comfort food, so when I find something that's clean, that's like a big deal to me. Okay, when I'm not doing cereal, I will sometimes do grain-free granolas over milk, or I love to throw these in my little fruit bowls or like yogurt cups, whatever. This is Paleo Nola Vanilla Bean. This has just like pumpkin seeds, almonds, pecans, maple syrup, sunflower seeds, walnut, coconut oil, vanilla bean, vanilla bean extract, super clean and easy. This one is Grandy Organics. This is coffee hazelnut. The flavor intrigued me, but it's super clean ingredients as well, all organic, and it's just like coconut, pumpkin seeds, cashews, maple syrup, hazelnuts, coconut nectar, ground coffee, pecans, sea salt. Pecans, pecans. I say pecan pie, but I say pecans when I'm talking about pecans. Anyway, then I found this. I'm super intrigued by this. Keto and Paleo Brownie Mix. We'll try that later at some point. I got my favorite coconut yogurts, the Coconut Junes. This is the vanilla chamomile. Then I, they have like a whole pumpkin section in Whole Foods. I got the Kulina pumpkin spice yogurt. I cannot wait to try this. I don't feel like I've had it before. Kulina is a really good clean yogurt, clean plant-based yogurt. So many plant-based yogurts have a lot of crap in them, so make sure to check the ingredients. I've been on a big chicken kick lately, so I just got some organic drumsticks, and I just like these because this, is, this was $6. Like, 
and this is a lot of food. So it's cheap, it's easy, you can season it up, cook it up quick, super easy. I am stocking up on frozen foods right now, stir fry, broccoli. Frozen food is the way to go if you have a job where you travel a lot or you kind of deal with your produce going bad really quickly because you don't cook it fast enough. That's my problem because I'm gone so much being a flight attendant, baby lima beans. And frozen food is just cheaper. Organic butternut squash. So it's good if you're on a budget too. Now, me getting all of those little veggies, I went over to, I love going over to like the international food aisle. There's this brand that I've been seeing a lot lately. How do you pronounce it? Amsam. Um, and it's basically different types of Asian seasonings. So this one, spicy bulgogi, so that's Korean. I love bulgogi, hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is yuzu miso glaze, that's Japanese. And then this is, oh, by the way, it's a woman owned company, which is dope. These two girls started it because they wanted to make Asian flavors easier to try out and more accessible for people who are kind of new to it, don't know what they're doing. This is Thai, this is Krapao. They had another one, they had like a lemon ginger one. I should have got that as well. I got some lamb some bison, these are like clean, healthy meats that I like to freeze and have on hand in case one day I just don't wanna to go to the store to get something fresh, thaw it out, make little meatballs or like a meat sauce for pasta, or maybe zucchini noodles, spaghetti squash noodles, something along those lines. Okay, these are my go-tos. I always have these in my freezer. They're the Amy's gluten-free burritos. I like the ones with the cheddar. The dairy-free ones are good too, but the cheddar is just a little bit better. These are amazing if you like, I don't know, let's say you just want something quick and easy, duh. I mean, it's good for that, but like for me, if I go out and I come home and I've had a few drinks and I'm really trying to eat clean and I don't wanna get like fast food or something like that, those are so good in a pinch because you can just heat them up quickly in your microwave and then throw some hot sauce on it and it is so good and so satisfying. Okay, super excited about this. This was in like the fall seasonal section. Some local company that's like near Boston. This is pumpkin butter. I love apple butter, so pumpkin butter, I can only imagine. I feel like I've had it before, I'm not sure. Um, Blake Hill, the holiday collection. They're from Vermont. So I'm really excited to try this pumpkin butter. I bought a loaf of sourdough, literally just so I could try out the pumpkin butter. This loaf is from Hyannis in the Cape. Um, I'm gonna throw some ghee, toast it, throw some ghee on it, and try out the pumpkin butter. Okay, this, I like stopped dead in my tracks when I saw this. Every single product from this brand is super clean ingredients. They use avocado oil instead of any of the other nasty oils. Avocado oil, olive oil, and coconut oil are my go-to oils. Canola, vegetable, peanut, soybean, all that other stuff is crap, um, and it inflames your body. So the ingredients in this, corn, coconut cream, water, lime juice, white onion, sea salt, avocado oil, it just goes on and it's just super clean. There's nothing fake in here. I This is salsa de elote, so it's like corn salsa. I'm trying that right after I film this. And I'm gonna have it, of course, with my siete chips. I love siete chips because they're grain-free. I mean, I would eat corn tortilla chips too, but I just like Seattle chips. Beekeepers Natural, hopefully by the time I post this, it's still on sale. I forgot to check the end date, but Beekeepers Naturals is on sale at Whole Foods right now. These propolis little, they're so good. I'll take one right now. Little shots, the brain fuel, they're really, really good for brain function, focus, energy. And to me, they literally taste like a bonfire and a little shot glass, but like a sweet honey bonfire. So good. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with the taste and I love how it comes in this little glass vial. The throat spray is amazing. Guys, it's that time of year. It's getting colder outside. This is their bee immune throat spray. I'm doubling down. No, I'm done. My camera cut off on me, but I'm taking my zinc. I'm taking my vitamin D. I need to get some elderberry syrup and I'm gonna be using my little throat spray. Oof, aloe vera juice. I put my athletic greens in equal parts aloe vera juice and coconut water. And then for my little yogurt bowls, I got some peaches to cut up and prep those for tomorrow. I'm gonna like make a little bowl with nuts and the fruit and then bring, you'll see, and then bring the yogurt on the side to mix up when I eat it. 
pears. I'm gonna cut up these pears as well and put them in my little fruit bowl. So it's like a little fall, like late summer, early fall fruit bowl. And then I have some fresh blueberries. Guys, that's it. I am like really hungry, if you can't tell, because I just bought all this food. So I am going to make a little snack and it's probably gonna be this, this Casa Verde Salsa de Elote with my Siete chips. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my little Savannah vlog with the Whole Foods haul. Oh my God, Savannah is like my favorite layover. It's up there. It's up there with New Orleans and like San Francisco and all of that, but um, hopefully I can get more soon, I'm hoping. Anyway, my name is Vera. For those of you who are new here, follow me on TikTok at Balanced Flyer or Instagram at Balanced Flyer. Notice I said TikTok because that is my new favorite platform. I'm sorry guys, TikTok is just where I'm popping off right now and I'm having the most fun. So go follow me on TikTok. If you don't have one, download it, check it out. It's such a fun app. And give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please say hello in the comments because it makes my day when I hear from y'all. All right, I'll see you in the next vlog, bye.